This is going to become especially relevant as we start to explore what we can do when we get to completely change the scale of surgery that we're doing. And so I mentioned we've got information and we can piggyback on that information and we can look at it, but we've also digitized these movements. And when I showed you that video earlier where the surgeon's hand is making a motion and that needle is being driven in exactly the same motion that that surgeon's hand is making, well, I don't have to just scale that down so it's little and precise. I can bring it down to the microscopic or even the nanoscopic level. And so the picture on the left is of the retina and the blood vessels in the retina. And right now, if you get a shower of clots up into your eye and they lodge in these little blood vessels up in your retina, you'll go blind because we don't really have a whole lot that we can do. Those vessels are about 30 microns in diameter and the precision of even sort of the best trained surgical hand is about 100 microns. So if I want to be able to open up that vessel, clean out that clot, and close that vessel back up, it's entirely out of the realm of what my hands can do. But if I can scale way down, I can start to do therapies that in the past, it wouldn't have made sense to try to develop them because this was the scale that we needed to operate at. And so we have a whole canon of medicine and therapeutics that has grown up around this scale. And once we start to move ourselves out of that scale, we get to break open how we think about therapy, how we think about the manipulations that we're going to do in the body. Even down to the point where this is a femtosecond laser on the right, drilling a hole in a single cell. So if I can observe the cell, and I can know whether it's good or bad, and I can use my ectopic brain to help me make this decision really quickly, I can start saying, good cell, leave it. Bad cell, zap it and take it away. Good cell, leave it. Bad cell, zap it. Now, the real promise of this kind of surgery, where I can take out the cancer, and I can leave everything that was that person still behind. I can unwind a cancer from around a nerve bundle and leave the nerves there. We get to start thinking in terms of those sorts of therapies rather than I'm going to take the cancer and I'm going to cut it out with a margin around it so that there's no cancer cells that are nearby adjacent structures. I can instead leave all the healthy tissue behind, truly minimally invasive surgery.